In the Greek mythology, Titans are terrible and powerful deities before the Olympian gods and goddesses. Also, Titans have pretty dramatic tale that filled with revenge and punishment. The original Titans were the children of Gaia, represents Mother Earth, and Uranus represents the sky. Zeus was the Titan god of intelligence and far-sighted, meaning that due to his inclusive mind and desire to learn, he was gained to see beyond the obvious. He is also identified as the god of wisdom and heavenly oracles. Kreus was a titan god of heavenly constellation and also known as the pillar of the South Pole. He measures the duration of the year. Together with his brother, Zeus, Hyperon, and Apetus, they preceded as the pillar of holding earth and heaven apart. Hyperon was a titan god of light or sunlight and was associated with watching and observation from above. He is also known as the Pillar of the East. Ipetus was a titan god of mortal life spun or god of death. The piercer actually meant that he came to life of mortals in terms of violence. In other words, when Ipetus decided that once time had passed, he brought a violent death upon him. Cronus was a titan god of time and ages and was above all. He was associated with destructive force of time which sooner or later consumes everything. Okanus was a titan god of enormous river called Ikanus, which believed to be the encircling the world personification of all salt water in the world to other realm and all fresh water including river lakes streams and rains nemosite was a titan goddess of memory and remembrance it is also believed that she invented the speech and writings Phoebe was a titan goddess of brightness and radiance and often associated with Selene, goddess of the moon. Phoebe was rather associated with being prophetic like Themis and her mother Gaia. Tethys was a titaness and aquatic sea goddess of all fresh water on earth. Tethys married Okanus and they give birth to a 3,000 foot more river gods and oceanids known as nymphs of the sea rivers, lakes, streams, fountains, and marshes. She is also the one taking care of all the creatures living in the water such as fish, seals, and dolphins. Thea was the titan goddess of shining associated with shining light, shining metals, and jewels. She is also known as the goddess of sight. Miss was the goddess of divine law order and custom. She was the organizer of the communal affairs of human, particularly assemblies. She was able to foresee the future and thus the oracular. Themis was not wrathful. Rhea was the titan goddess of fertility and motherhood. She was gentle and comfortable. Her name actually means ease as at ease and was the reason she interpreted and worshipped as a goddess of comfort and ease. Cronus and Rhea represented the internal flow as they give birth to a new generation. Titans were never worshipped as the other gods and goddesses. They nevertheless helped through contrast to clarify the position in the universe. Indeed, the very name Titan signifies strainers referencing their constant struggle against the order of things. Zeus is the Greek god of the sky and thunder, the king of all the gods and men. He is consequently the chief figure of the Greek mythology. Zeus is known for being wise and protective, but harsh and stern 
ruler. He was respected by all the gods and goddesses and sometimes addressed as Zeus Olympus for he is the king of the gods and the patron of the Panhelic Games at Olympia. Hera is the wife of Zeus, the queen of Olympus, and the Greek goddess of marriage. Hera is associated with family and the welfare of children and women. Hera is known for being cruel, vain, and a jealous wife. But she was the goddess that Greek women worship to help them have a healthy babies or a good marriage. This women was protected by Hera and granted their wishes most of the time. Poseidon was the violent and ill-tempered god of the sea. He was feared as the provoker of earthquakes and worshipped as the creator of horses. He was also the protector of all seafarers. The Greek usually worship him to have a calm sea. If he is neglected or ignored, he can cause chaotic earthquakes, shipwrecks, or drowning. Hades, an ancient Greek god of the underworld, the place where human souls go after death. Hades is known for being stern, calculating, unyielding, merciless, but just and fair. The living souls realized that Hades one day would be their king and their souls would be his. This opinion constantly in the mind every day in ancient Greece. Aphrodite is the Greek goddess of love, beauty, and fertility. Beautiful and enchanting, she was constantly depicted nude, a perfect maiden, and infinitely out of reach. During the war, Aphrodite fought on the side of Paris, and Aphrodite was also the most identifiable images of the goddesses in Greek mythology. Ares is the Olympian god of war, and he is known for being destructive, violent, and brutal. He was mainly worshipped by the soldiers, obviously for having a support in battles, and on campaigns. There were some practices and rituals associated with this god, such as sacrificing a dog in the night. Athena is the Greek goddess of war and wisdom, and the adored patroness of city of Athens. A virgin goddess associated with peace and handicraft, especially spinning and weaving. Majestic and stern, Athena surpassed everybody, especially in her main domains. People of Athens honored Athena by building a large acropolis in the center of the city. Demeter was the ancient Greek goddess of grain and agriculture. She was known for being gentle, kind, loving, and protective to her children. Because she was the goddess of harvest, she was important to the farmers and peasant people of the Greece. Apollo was the ancient Greek god of sun and light, music and poetry, order and beauty. He can also heal people or bring illness or disease. In battle, Apollo was deadly with bow and arrow. He was the leader of the muses, goddesses which provide inspiration for science, art, and literature. Artemis was the ancient Greek goddess of hunt, the moon, and the chastity. Artemis is very protective of her and her priestesses in a sense. Above all, Artemis was the protector of the young girls until they get married. Hephaestus was the ancient Greek god of fire, volcanoes, and craftsmen. Hephaestus is known for being kind and hardworking god, but he had a limp and considered ugly by the other gods. Hephaestus was a god who makes 
the weapons for the Olympus and the block smith for the gods. Miss was the winged herald and messenger of the Olympian gods. Hermes was the only Olympian god who is capable of crossing the border between living and the dead. In honor for his glory, the Greeks created a special festival called Hermeia, a festival that is created with sacrifices for the god and with gymnastics and athletics. Good morning everyone, so now I am Wendell Aborquez and I am assigned to introduce to you or discuss to you the wives of Zeus, their personalities as well as their functions as goddesses. So let's start. First, we have Metis. So Metis was a Titanis. In the beginning, she knew Zeus because he came to her. Zeus came to Metis because his father Cronus had swallowed all of his brothers and sisters. Metis later became Zeus' first wife. Together, they gave birth to Athena who came out of Zeus' head. Metis was one of the elder Oceanids and a titan goddess of good counsel, planning, cunning, and wisdom. Next, we have Themis. Themis was the titan goddess of divine law. She was one of the early wives of Zeus and bore him six children. All of them were girls. Themis was also known as a personification of justice, goddess of wisdom and good counsel, and the interpreter of God's will. Next, we have Eurynome. So, Eurynome is the titan goddess of water meadows and pasture lands. She was the mother of Charites and the nurse of Hephaestus. She used to be the ruler of Olympus but was overthrown by Cronus. She was also known as the goddess of grace and beauty. Next, we have Demeter. So Demeter was uh, the goddess of agriculture and grain. So Demeter was often known as uh, being something like Mother Earth. So her daughter by Zeus named Persephone was kidnapped by Hades, Zeus' brother and also known as the god of the underworld. So then, Hades named Persephone as the queen of the underworld. So on the other side, Demeter or Demeter was the daughter of Cronus and Rhea and was the sister of Zeus. Next, we have Nemosyn. So Nemosyn was the daughter of Uranus or heaven and Gaia or earth. So Nemosyn was the titan goddess of time remembrance and memory she and zeus had nine children or also known as the nine muses she is also known as being one of the three elder titan musei who were the muses of music before the nine that she and zeus had next we have hera so hera is a zeus sister she is the goddess of women and marriage. She is often known as being very jealous because her husband Zeus cheated in her all of the time. So Zeus came to her as a bird. So Hera mothered it and then Zeus changed himself back and seduced her. They had four or there may be more children. Next, we have Leda. So, Leda was famously seduced by Zeus when he took the form of a swan. So, she was the queen of Sparta and mother of beautiful Helen who sparked the Trojan War and the Dioscuri twins. Her main function is being the goddess of motherhood and being a titan. So, she also has the gift of her prayers being answered by the Olympians because of her kindness. Lastly, we have Leto. So Leto was a titan goddess of motherhood. She had twins, Apollo and Artemis by Zeus. During her pregnancy, she was constantly chased by Hera out of the land, so she could not find a comfortable place to give birth. 